Today I'm taking a look at another 6 inch Black Series figure. This time it's the K2SO in the re-release packaging from Rogue One. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher, welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel I do weekly Star Wars reviews, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so this is the K2SO 6 inch black series figure. This is the one that is re-released recently, probably a few months back now. It's got the brand new packaging, the refreshed look. Uh, same figure that was released before. I didn't pick it up before, but saw this one and wanted to pick it up so like i mentioned it's the newer black series packaging you got the minty kind of light minty green all the way around the packaging you got the typical star wars black series branding you got the hasbro logo on the bottom k2so and then the movie it's from star wars rogue one a star wars story there on the side of the packaging of course you get that really very nice artwork on the side of the packaging and if you guys keep your your figures in the box or maybe you keep your boxes they all line up and make a, a really beautiful mural and a very nice backdrop for your figures um, on the back side you got that same artwork on the right side there Star Wars Black Series K2SO Rogue One a Star Wars story he's number number three in this re-released set or wave and then there is a little bit of a write-up there which says a reprogrammed imperial security droid now loyal to the alliance k2so is an alarming sight standing within a secret rebel base the pragmatic droid is an effective insertion agent as he can blend in perfectly at an imperial installations and outposts so really nice looking figure Great looking packaging, love the artwork as usual on this one, but I'm going to open it up. We'll take a closer look at K2SO. Alright, so here is K2SO out of the packaging, and this Black Series figure doesn't come with any accessories, so it's just the figure itself, so kind of a shame that he is priced the same as the regular figures, um, which is like about 32 to 40 bucks, depending on where you buy them up here in Canada. Not sure what the price is down in the States, but you got your typical articulation for k2so as the rest of the black series figures so you got the head that that moves up and down it swivels up and down turns you got the arms that move they look like they are on ball joints there so the arms go out like that um his shoulders kind of go into his arm socket a bit, so I would be careful about pushing him in too far. You don't want to ruin the paint. Um, you got elbows swiveling back and forth. He does Arms go all the way back on this one. I do like the joints on this figure. It does look really, really awesome. It looks like they did put like a clear piece of plastic into the joint there because I can kind of like a translucent piece of plastic in there because I can see light through it on his elbows I'm assuming the same yeah the same on his legs there and his feet so yeah you got swivels bend his wrists swivel they bend joints in his legs so he can do the splits there he does have a little bit of movement in the abs there 
in the torso. So legs go up, back, and out. You got knees that bend. Because he's a droid, he only has a single joint in the leg, or in the knee there, rather. Uh, knee doesn't swivel. The foot swivels really good because of the, the type of figure he is. He's a droid, so it goes back and forth. And again, no no swivel on the on the feet either. No ro Just a rocker back and forth. So really nice. You know, your typical articulation minus a few spots because of the, the type of character he is being a droid. You know, you can't have that swivel in the foot and stuff. So you only have the the rocker. He, it does kind of... The foot does swivel side to side, though, to make up for the... So the foot does swivel side to side, though, to make up for the... I guess for that rocker bit on a regular figure. So you can get some articulation out of him. No swivel in the, the knee though. Or actually no, there is swivel in the knee. I, I'm stand corrected. So there is swivel in the knee as well. Oh, and in the lower half of the knee too. The lower leg. Okay, so a little bit more articulation than your typical Black Series figures. And, um, really great looking figure though. Even though he doesn't come with the, the accessories that other ones come with. Like, he doesn't come with a blaster or anything like that. He's just the, the droid himself. He does look fantastic. Like, there's some nice weathering on him. So, he's mostly this kind of matte black. You got some kind of orange around his arm sockets and the legs. You got little bits of blue on little, little, gree um, little parts on his body. You got little bits of blue. Um, you have the Imperial Insignia in silver on both, both shoulders. You got some red on his head there. You got little bits of silver on his head, around his mouth, on his eyes. Little silver weathering all the way around to make it look like he's been in some battles. And silver on the legs, like I mentioned, the, the kind of translucent plastic in the middle of the joint there to make it look like there's nothing there so i really like this figure this is a great figure great looking figure looks fantastic very nicely detailed very simple but very nicely detailed at the same time um is it worth the same price even without the the accessories maybe i i, I think so just because of the quality of figure you get the, the detail, K2SO doesn't really have any weapons or anything. Like, he, he did have the gun, the blaster inside the Imperial the Imperial Archives on Scarif there. Um, but, really, like, great figure without the accessories anyways. Fantastic detail on this guy. Lots of maneuverability. Um, but let me know, what do you guys think about K2SO, the 6-inch Black Series? Did you pick him up? Um, do you like him? Do you hate him? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click over here to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.